Good day, folks. Today we will show you all the most emotional moments in Got Talent. Malaki Paul. Before taking the stage, many Got Talent hopefuls must overcome stage fright. Malaki Paul, a nine year old vocalist, is one of them. Despite his immense talent, Malaki was quite frightened while performing in front of a sea of strange faces. When he started playing Beyonce's Listen, it was very evident right away that he's a really gifted young man with a fantastic voice. Malachi, however, felt himself buckling under the weight of expectation and broke down in the middle of the song. Are you, Malachi? Um, I'm nine. And where are you from? Um, London. Okay. North London. Who are you with? Um... Tony Ann ran on stage to console him and Judge Alesha Dixon joined them a few seconds later. She encouraged the little singer to continue, but said it was fine if he didn't. Malachi bravely opted to continue and by the time he finished the song, the entire studio was on their feet and the judges unanimously gave him a standing ovation and voted him into the semi-finals. We three. We three demonstrate their immense talent by playing their original song, Heaven's Not Too Far Away, which was written in remembrance of their mother, who died of cancer, and was written from her perspective. The trio's mother passed away two years before they competed on America's Got Talent. This tragic loss strengthened the siblings' already strong relationships, and they use music to express this heartbreaking narrative. Oregon? What's your name? My name is Joshua. How old are you, Joshua? 27. And you are? My name is Bethany and I'm 24. And I'm Manny and I'm 21. Nice to meet you. We three viewed their audition as an opportunity to honor their mother and the prospect of one day seeing her again. During their stunning performance, Judge Mel B couldn't fight back tears and voted yes with the rest of the panel. Attraction Shadow Theatre The Attraction Shadow Theatre group won Britain's Got Talent's seventh season and it all started with an emotional audition that sent everyone to tears. They were clear favourites from the start after impressing the judges and leaving them speechless. The dancers used their silhouettes to tell wonderful stories, all of which were projected onto a screen lit from behind. The ensemble played a moving story about love, passion, marriage, birth, and death at their audition. They began with a couple meeting, marrying, and having a child, but the fairy tale rapidly became bleak when the father was called to serve in the military and was slain. The mother and daughter finished their performance by paying a visit to his tomb. When the attraction emerged from the shadows, they were greeted by hundreds of spectators who were unable to hold back their cries, including the judges. They included Alesha Dixon and Amanda Holden, who voted yes right away, moving the attraction to the next round. <laughs> Holly Steele Holly Steele isn't the only participant to cry on stage during a talent event, but she's the one that everyone remembers. Her breakdown occurred in 2009, sparking a debate regarding children's participation on Britain's Got Talent. Some viewers argued that youngsters her age aren't strong enough to deal with the severe strain of a TV talent show, but watching Holly's act makes you wonder whether they are correct. This 10-year-old broke down halfway through her semi-final performance while singing Edelweiss from The Sound of Music. The judges permitted her to perform again at the conclusion of the broadcast, although other contestants had less time for their performances as a result of this decision. Holly bravely returned for a second effort, and viewers rewarded her bravely by voting her through the next round, claiming Steele's performance was deserving of that slot. But that didn't stop some viewers accusing Holly of crying her way into the Finals. Time for a quick break. Come back, join us after it. Don't go anywhere. Right. Little Leprechaun Dancer. 
Whatever you think of Simon Cowell, you can tell that he's only cruel to those who can't handle criticism. Mr. Nasty has a soft spot for children, but some of his fellow judges don't. Piers Morgan doesn't seem to mind the age of the contestants. If they didn't meet his high expectations, he revealed his true self while watching a dance performance performed by a young girl dressed as an adorable leprechaun. <laughs> Morgan became bored with her audition and decided to press the red button. The little girl couldn't take the rejection and began crying and storming off the stage. Cowell looked at his fellow judge with murder in his eyes and handled the situation like a pro. He went backstage to console the tiny dancer and encouraged her to finish her act. What should we say to the horrible peers? Stick your tongue out. Jacob Curley. Jacob Curley's audition was a tearjerker from start to finish, and his heartbreaking story left the audience stunned before he even took the stage. Jacob was only five years old when he and his sister were placed in foster care. His biological parents were either in jail or on drugs, and after they stopped visiting the children, the young boy became cynical about life and lost hope that he would ever be adopted one day. However, things changed when he was eight years old, when a lovely couple came to visit Jacob and his sister and decided to enroll them in music school, which helped them get through the difficult times. This became a vital aspect of his life for him. During his poignant version of John Mayer's Waiting on the World to Change, it was evident how much he appreciates it. After the young sister couldn't fight back tears after his performance, Mel B rushed on stage to console him and then voted yes alongside the other judges. Has now adopted you and America loves you too. Thank you. The Missing People Choir Talent shows have the power to drastically change the lives of the most talented contestants, but that's not why the Missing People Choir decided to participate in Britain's Got Talent in the first place. They hoped that their acts would change the lives of others, and that's exactly what happened. They used this platform to send a powerful message and remind the public of the many loved ones who have vanished without a trace. The choir got missing family. Other members of the choir are either workers with the charity yeah. or supporters of the charity. What a... This choir mostly consisted of singers who have loved ones who have gone missing many years down the road. They performed an original song titled I Miss You, written by choir member Peter Box, and received a standing ovation from everyone in the room. They received four yeses from the judges and eventually made it into the finals. Photos of the missing individuals were displayed behind the choir during their performance, and they actually helped people reunite with their loved ones. Four yeses, congratulations. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. See you soon.